Hello, good afternoon. It's Murray Wilkinson here from Future Gen Solutions. Um, this afternoon, I'm actually sending a special video uh, in regards to some of the occurrences on world markets last night, specifically Wall Street. Last night, we had the second of a uh, correction. Uh, Wall Street was down by about 3.5% last night, um, and that's translated today into our market. If you can see this, our market has taken a plunge uh, over the last 24 hours, down by 170 points. While not large, at just over, um, just under three percent, nevertheless, it's another bellwether sign of things to come. We had the first one back in February. We had this one last night, and typically markets are climbing what we call the wall of worry and the anxiety and the worry of uh, of recent trade wars, uh, of rising interest rates by the U.S. Federal Reserve. All these are concerns which are weighing down on what has been a highly volatile and impressive run by all world markets, including our own. So the concerns are translating to people quickly becoming skittish and people running for the covers as soon as the first sign of danger. So we expect a lot more of this to come. As a result, we are working bit by bit with, a lot, with all of our clients to de-risk their portfolios. Now, not just in equities, where this roll-off has occurred, but in other asset classes, such as property. I read with interest this week the uh, actions taken by Australian Superannuation, which has a large unlisted property portfolio, uh, advising clients and members that essentially they will restrict access to their property fund now, and secondly, making clients aware that in the event of a, of a meltdown, they would freeze their property assets for up to three years. So the signs are certainly there. So I just wanted to pass that message to you that uh, as we meet uh, client by client, um, if not some in advance, that we will be basically looking to make adjustments. Um, happy to take questions and uh, you know where to find us. Thanks for your time this afternoon.